is a Tuesday. We're at Mississippi Stud at the beautiful Red Rock Casino in Las Vegas and play in some Mississippi Stud. Got a $300 buy-in today. Not only that, I've got my friends and subscriber Mark sitting next to me learning the game. Say hello to everybody, Mark. Hey there. <laughs> hey, he's got his radio voice on now. I've known Mark for a really long time and hopefully going to see some nice action and he can see Mississippi Stud in action, like the last episode when I played, and almost dug well. I, I, I turned five hundred dollars into I think eight hundred and something, if I remember correctly. And I hope this will be just as fruitful. Let's see if we can make some magic happen right here. All right. So you know the way I like to play these prop, or as they call them here, the carnival games. I'm going to put some. $10 bets up there. There's another play at the table. I think his name is Chuck, and hopefully he's going to win. I just saw him win a nice hand of a straight, and hopefully it's going to continue. We'll do that all night. <laughs> I'll take a no-brainer every hand, and it'll be all good. So let's see. I'm going to explain it to Mark as he's watching here now. How the deuce and an eight, that's probably one of the worst hands. You need to have sixes in your hands, and sixes will automatically mean you can't lose. So you can triple your bets back here. I'm sorry, I should put it underneath there, right? I see I'm learning. It's different here as it is in. Uh oh, give me that queen. Oh, see that? If we had Woo. stayed, we would have won, but we still win this money here. So it's got a pair for the pairs plus. But that's a power pair. And I'm explaining this to Mark, which would have won for everybody at least 10, 10, and 10 that you would bet. And if you have those pairs of kings in your hands, you can put 30, 30, 30 up in your hands. So that's that's the allure of this game. It is, is it like blackjack or craps? No, it is not. This is a house-friendly game, but it has some pretty big payouts that can happen. You get a full house, a four of a kind, and you get hooked. And let's see if we can't make some magic happen. Here. Another seven, six, seven suited. I'm betting ten dollars. I'm gonna see one just for giggles, and I have a feeling I'm gonna oh, be chasing. We're gonna be chasing. Oh, Chuck told me he's got a seven, which is always hey. good to know. But we both have seven, so we can't lose now. And I'm gonna put thirty bucks up here, and I hope the fourth one falls, no. or a six comes. Cause that'll work too. Come on, six seven. All right, let's see it. Oh, uh, but hey. It's a push back here, but we lose the pairs plus. Excuse me, the three card bonus. And I'll still keep it at 10. But you know what? Maybe I'll do this. Ah, uh, I'll stay strong and just keep it like that. So let's see what we can do right now. What's your favorite game to play at the casino? Sitting at the bar and having a drink and watching everybody play. I'm sure that's what Mark would say. My favorite one. <laughs> Snowman and a five. Suited, but not good enough. So we are going to fold that hand right there. But hopefully, she'll have a winning. Oh, oh see yeah. that? Of course. I could have now bet three times and three times. Don't want to see another eight now. Let's see what happens. All right. I would have saved 10 bucks if I chased. But again, chasing is not always in your best interest, especially in the long run. But if I'm betting $5, I'm going to chase. And I'm calling it now. I will chase. Let's see it. Let's go, Josie. Tricks. How about, how about two, three of a... You have the three of a kind, and we get full houses. Six and a five. I am not going to chase that. I'm going to chase my seven nines. Uh-oh. Suited, though. Hope it's a club. Six or three. Uh, let's 
Let's reset it and let's go. One thing you know I won't do is bet big in front of Mark because Mark would cringe if he watches me lose. But if you saw in a couple of, or maybe you will see in some episodes of the slots, Mark picked an obscure game that I can't stand, but he made a winner. Did he make a believer out of me? No. <laughs> but it's always nice to win, even if you can't stand the slot machine. We'll see how it goes. All right, there's number one. Number two, no brainer. Not with the four. But with the jet, go. I'm gonna chase you. this last hand, Josie. Air rockets. Nice. Chuck's got a pair of aces. Hopefully there's two aces for me too. And it's a jack. And I'll still chase because the 10 will push. And true to my word, chase, chase, chase. And then lose. So we shall see what the next hand has in store. This game came out, Mark, after Let It Ride, which was the game that I really love to play, which was like a livestock machine, I called it. It's not, again, like this, not one of the better games in the, the house to play, but you can win some big jackpots. You get a four of a kind. It's 50 to one odds. I've gotten a five card straight flush for 200 to one odds. Of course, I was only betting five, five, and five. <laughs> But it's fun. Let's see. Another snowman. And two snowmen. So we can't lose that hand. Let's hope Josie has the other two snowmen. Talking of four of a kinds. Or a four would be nice. Or a six. Let's, let's get more than just one to one. Let's make it two to one. Hopefully three to one. Uh, even a five would have been a consolation prize. So that hand is a big push. Let's reset. Try it again. Feeling, feeling nutty, uh oh. Heavy bet on the three card? Maybe he knows something. <laughs> just, just been a minute. Again, this is not one of those games where you know you can't make a mistake with your bets. It's your money. You do with it as you wish. But in reality, all the table games are yours to play the way you wish. Don't let anybody ever tell you, oh, you're not playing it right. It is what it is. Two ten? No. Let's try it again. Fire away the questions, Mark. I know you're looking intently at the tables and hmm. things that make you go hmm in the casino. See what happens in the next game. One jack and a deuce. I'll chase just one card this time. That's if it was a power card, I would say. Not this. Watch the jack come right now. Please be that jack. Be the snowman. Need that jack. <laughs> Need a straight? Uh, uh, <laughs> All right. One more try.
again, as the last episode was really fast, it was just me and the dealer. More players give you a little more time in between hands. So you have time to order a drink, reset your bets, count your money, whatever you want to do. Speed is what the dealers are known for. And what makes the casino have more hands, they like that. Five is not really a great card, but there's two of them, so we're going to play it for sure. And hopefully there's a five that falls. <laughs> the six. All right. 56. All around it, but we're chasing. Uh, that's the bubble hand. Doesn't push. It loses. Let's give it another shot. Let's see. Let's see one. Show me that joker. Let's fold it. I really like and enjoy the fact that dealers deal this game out of their hands. You probably see the dealer holding that deck. And it just, I, I feel it makes it more authentic. Even though it comes out of the shuffler, the dealer still shuffles the cards. Like, oh, she cuts the cards in her hands, and then she deals them out. So it feels more like old school gambling, if you will. Not just coming out of a machine, and she's just the distributor of the cards that are already predetermined by the machine. Here we go. Show me a good one. One more. Uh, but we'll see one. And by the way, you don't have to bet just one. You could bet two, you could bet three. But why would you? Unless you're you're feeling like, you know, with the pair of fives that I had, I'm gonna chase it with two on the first hand, hoping for that five, and a push card too. We're gonna chase all the way this time. And lose. You ready to play a hand mark if I tell you what to do and help you out? Yeah, all right. Turning market to a gambler. We're gonna take this hundred, cash it in. Let's see. Here, you can just put a dollar up on the, the circle that lights up, and put five and five in the ante and the three card. There you go. Extra hand, maybe I'll change it up a little bit. We won't go too crazy. It's $300, playing double the hands right now. Hopefully we'll hit something. Let me give you a little more ammo there. And you're able, you can turn your cards over, so you can just show in, you know. In Connecticut, you can't do that. For sure. So I'll show first, and I got a nine and a two, and I'm gonna fold that. Hopefully, Mark's got the no-brainer. A ten and a three. Nope, that's a fold. Just put it underneath your your chip there. Now we're hoping she's got a three-card hand. Six, seven, eight, four, five, six. That 
means Chuck has a six in his hand, so he can't lose. See another one. See another diamond. Uh. And try again. Let's see. There are three times, Mark, I had a pair of sixes, or I should say I had three sixes going for the fourth, and it was a nine that fell. Nine and a six. How ironic. Maybe I should play that. I don't know. God, you can flip your cards over and see. Four and eight. You can chase it with one. I'm going to fold and you chase it. Just put one on there. Then when she gives you the first card. All right. Now you can turn it over and put it under there because you'll fold that. And we'll see. How about another diamond? Take a diamond. All right. You gotta go like this. You gotta tap the table. That brings good luck. Oh, that's a gentle tap. I like the last spins, gentle. Try and do it. Fire away the questions. I know you have so many of them going through your mind right now. <laughs> Let's see him. Let's see him. Here we go. King and a four. I'll chase one. What do you got, Mark? Oh, you got a king two and what? Seven. Seven? You got to play that. You're going to play it all the way. Hopefully the kings will come for both of us. Uh, go ahead. You play it. I'm going to fold. Actually, you know what? I'm going to see one more. Like that. You're going to win. So I'm going to win. <laughs> okay. Now I'm gonna fold. You can play one more. Go ahead. Six, seven, king. All, all diamonds. Doesn't matter, right? Because the three, the three of clubs kills it. Right? Yes. Already done. <laughs> Any hopes of a flush were doused. Uh, I'll be happy if he gets the king, even though I folded. <laughs> Got that six again on third base. Uh, yep. So the 300 that we have in chasing that, we have this left, and I'm going to play one more hand. Actually, I'm going to let Mark play it. You can play right here, Mark. You can play my hand in my spot, and we'll see what happens there. And we won't go crazy. Hopefully get a no-brainer. We'll have to dig for more money. <laughs> Let's see how it goes. Let's see it. That's terrible. We could just hold that. <laughs> Five, six would be nice, or three, four, five. 36, think 36. Oh, pair of fives wins at least. I don't spend it all in one place. Reminds you of the 80s, huh, Mike? <laughs> oh, yeah. Back in the day. Something about you, something about the card, something about a no brainer that would be nice right now. No bueno. You can just tuck that in and say, let's hope for <laughs> not the pair of fives again. Pair of sixes. 
for a seven. Oh, there's the five. How about a four? Got fours. All right, we got one more hand. La, 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 la. Oh, I'm being like NJ Slot Guy now, singing with the music. <laughs> I am a child of the 80s, though, so these are the songs that I grew up with. All right, last hurrah. All right, show me the no-brainer on our last hand. A six and a three. You can't even see that. No, can't even do it. Let's hope for. Let's hope for a straight flush, right there. Eight, nine, ten. Hey, we're still alive. All right, it's just reset, and now we can play one more hand. Won't even worry about the dollar. Of course, if the progressive came out, I wouldn't be dancing on the table. I'd be buried under the table. <laughs> but as Dave was saying, <laughs> you just have the dollar there as a token loss every time. Go ahead. Turn those cards over. A king 10. That's a pan we can play at least, so let's put it up. I think I can dig for another nickel somewhere if it goes all the way, but hopefully we'll have to dig for more money. Get it up there. King 10 8. That's all we need. That's it. Oh, oh got a dig. I got a dig. Oh, I had that too. All right. One, two. I got you. No, no, that's okay. Well, I'm gonna, I could do this, right? Ah, this is stupid. What am I doing? <laughs> I have it. I just didn't cash it in. So now, oh, I'm sorry, Mark. I'm doing what you should be doing. Now another eight for everybody. Let's see right. another eight. Sorry. Uh, and I just realized I'll take back my 25, but I got a dollar for you to play in the next hand, too. Here's your loan, Mark. <laughs> Get another hand with the dollar. I was just going to say I had this few dollars, too. I was going to put up $8, or I should say $13 on the, uh, the last set of 15 I was just talking in our last episode, Chuck, about uh, cashing in. I'll take your chips. Here's 200 bucks. Yeah. Lady at third base was like, no, no, no. Yeah. You know, it's, and even even she said even borrowing chips. Go ahead, see a card with that nickel. It's weird what they what they frown upon and what's yeah. allowed. Uh oh. You know what? I'll give you a, I'll give you a loan there. Throw it up there just because it's an ace jack. Maybe we'll get something. Uh oh. All right. One more. Uh, boo. <laughs> well. We are officially busted, guys. I think that is a $310 loss on this Table Tuesday Mississippi Stud episode. But I hope you enjoyed it. Again, almost a half hour of play. $300 in the hole. You know how fast you can lose $300 in the slot machine. Sometimes it's fun to take a break and play a table game. But I appreciate your love and support of old school slots and, of course, Table Tuesdays. And thank you so much to the beautiful Red Rock Casino for allowing you guys to see old school and his antics at the tables. See you real soon. Cheers. Bye-bye.